Hello everyone, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin, where we are in the rain, and... Stood in the rain for a week. Yep. We have stood in the rain for one whole week, waiting for the moment where we can go back to town. <laughs> because we can't teleport. <laughs> because... It's not allowed. Apparently, teleporting is not allowed, so... No, no, no. We're just gonna it's walk. An it's an adventure. It's an it's adventure. Is, yep, it is an adventure. That's right. So we gotta go up this road here, <clears> and <throat> uh, and yeah, there's some swordsmen in the way and stuff. Oh God, you're going. It's okay. I, it's that guy. Right. That's a half-eaten zombie. What? 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 Okay, cool. Okay. It's a half-eaten zombie. Yep. He's poison. <clears throat> okay, I'm confused. Uh -oh. Can undead be poisoned or not? Clearly they can, or only some of them can? Some of them certainly can. I don't know about all of them. <laughs> Definitely, probably some of them can. That's yeah, apparently some are immune and some are not. I'm gonna move over here. It's my turn. Um, I don't like buffs and stuff, so I'm gonna guess rain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that will do a lot. Yeah, I'm just gonna sort of move, really. Yeah. I think we sh I think this turn actually none of us should really do anything. <laughs> if you do your buffs, just stay here. And okay, them, kind of lure them I know, around. I know this, yeah, because I don't think there's an archer. So, uh, you right, know, they can just yeah. like crawl towards us or whatever. A decapitator. So. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna move her up like a couple spots and pass. And then I will buff her. So hopefully, I guess I should have buffed you because you can shoot. Dang it. Oh well. It's okay. Stupid rock in my way. Yeah. They're going to have to come to us. Oh, we're going around there, eh? Mm. Okay. He's going to go try and decapitate Medora. See, spent all a whole <laughs> turn going towards us where we can get them. Yep. Nice. Good strategies. Ah, uh, spider or ricochet? Spider or ricochet? Mm, ricochet. Spider. All right, fine. If I would have Just said like spider, would you have said ricochet? No. <laughs> Not that time. I know. I know what you're thinking there, though. What well, I'm thinking is, it can it can flank them, and Medora can do more damage. Oh, good idea. Yeah, that's nice. Don't say anything. Thank you. <laughs> All right, one of them is. One of them is. Uh, that's yeah. me, though. Now then. I'm going to go with this blitz bolt on this armored decapitator. Because I reckon, I don't think it'll... Because there's no water on the floor, I don't think it'll let you But I, I think it does chain if they're next to each other, though. I'm, well, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test okay, it now. We'll I don't, don't okay. want to go through the entire game not doing it. You're right. It You're right. Just, do, just do it. Just do yeah. it. There you go. Okay. I'm pretty sure spirit. if she was closer, it would have, though. Well, it didn't attack it. It didn't get anyone else. I know. What the hell have I just done? Did I you cast just cast rain? rain? I, didn't, I didn't want to cast rain. <laughs> I wanted to cast... I, didn't want, I wanted to cast a bit of coal. That's what... They're next to each other, and they... Yeah. <laughs> Why? I crave never-ending motion. Why would you miss, Medora? <laughs> Okay, um... Immune to knockdown. Okay, then. I, 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 I See? Oh, uh, ah, uh, but... Uh, the first one didn't, though. That's because you cast rain, I think, and then it made water on the ground? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the only thing that's changed. It's raining twice. Yeah. <laughs> so, Cause, yeah. Yeah, because you're right. Before there was no water on the ground. So. Mm. I'm gonna stop him from moving. And that's about it, really, we're isn't all, it? We're uh, all stunned now for two turns. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. But it's okay because they are too. So. Yeah. Nah, uh, it's not. That's not. Oh, but he's hitting. He's hitting the spider, yeah, that's, so that's, that's okay. Why this, that's why Jeffrey's there. That's Jeffrey's job. I'm going to do preemptive. Uh, maybe not, actually. Maybe. I don't want to do the. 
Um, right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll get rid of him for now. Um, you go back up there, you. We'll deal with you later. <laughs> <laughs> Crawl back down to us there. <laughs> oh my god, I'll go back down here now. <laughs> Alright, now I'll do ricochet. Okay. Turtle silence nice. you. Spider's turn. Yum. <laughs> yum. Oh, fine. Just one yum. <laughs> Let me get you. Okie dokie. I'd have thought the, the decapitator would have been harder than the uh, swordsman, but... Mm, yeah. I don't know. We should have moved, because if you move slightly to the left and I move slightly to the right, we'd have all been out of the water. Yeah. You could have done your thingy thing, but you know, we're still learning. Is the water still there? It is, right? It's the dark area, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. So I'll just have to. Ooh. Ice you can move a little bit and, you know, because I don't mind if Darius gets stunned because we still got this, you know. I got Ice Shard, which is uh -uh. something I didn't have last battle and I don't know why. Oh, I think I only have an, a limited amount of uses of it. Oh. Vermin. Vermin. Yeah, you know, he's not very quick. Right, Johan. No, I don't want to drag it out of the goddamn thing. I just want to click on it and use it. <laughs> That's annoying. We should look in the options to see if there's a something for that, because that is annoying. Yeah. Now then, can I stop, um... Check something. You can carry on. I can't check it now. See if I can get rid of that poison with one of my Ooh. things. I, that, I think I, that did extra damage, I think. I mean, it did so much, didn't it? Because he was already poisoned. Maybe? Because that was like 30 and then 30 and then like... Wait, what? Where's... I want to look at the combat log, dang it. Up. 30 fire damage, and then he healed for 9, and then he was hit for 30 again. Created fire when using fire on ooze. Created a poison cloud. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You can set ooze alight. That's what it was. Sweet! That is awesome. Meanwhile, we have a regeneration scroll. Yay! Our scroll, some gold. Is it the gold? All right. Take the frost scroll and the regen scroll, I guess. All right. Oh, Drundane, that's that's like drugs, that's like weed in this in this world, by the way. Is it? Yeah. It's like illegally traded and stuff. Well, not I wouldn't say illegally traded, but it's illegal that's, in some places. <laughs> and I don't know. In the first game, it was funny because there's a quest and they, some guys like growing it like weed in his backyard and stuff. Shocking. <laughs> I took it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh well, we're back. We're back! Yay! We made it. Your return marks a victory, Hunter. We'll vanquish our foes yet. Yes. yes. Potent heat. We are glad. Potent heat. Breaking it's a campfire. Like a <laughs> Your guys like, like cake. Potent heat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say bake me like a cake? It's heating up. You did. You said baking like a cake. Oh, I did. Yeah. Uh... So, the hunt for smellies. Smelly panties. Is this you really piece? want those smelly panties, don't you? Mortician. Oh, this mort is the mort Oh, we have to talk to this guy. He's totally a suspect. All right. I think. Well. I'm pretty sure. Am I right? I think. I, didn't there we'll I remember last time. Oh no, it was because Evelyn's note said she was bringing something to him. But never mind. I think. 
I don't think he's actually a suspect. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll just I'll just take just, these. Just take it. I'm gonna uh, see if he's up here. Salt my inventory. He is up here. Mortician's chest key up here. There's a locked chest in the other room. I don't know what you're telling me the for, because I am not a thief. Thank you very much. There's a locked chest up here, Marianx. <laughs> I can totally uh -huh. distract him while you get the key and open the chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ready? <laughs> hang on, hang on. All right, there's the key. Okay. Where's the key? I can see it uh, highlighted, but it's I don't know where it actually is. On, is it? Um, um, it oh, it's behind that now. coffin. It's behind the coffin. I was on it. I, it's just the door. It's Sorry. Behind, behind the door. It's behind the door. Oh, he hates you now. Yeah. Let me talk Sorry. to him. Okay, come back here, dude. So, what is he? Okay. What's the bad news? Go for it. More orcs rampaging through the docks? Or have those infernal uh, statues sent another soul flying to his death? Hmm. Totally sneaking. Totally Hello. Sneaking. Tell me about yourself. Totally a barrel. I am a barrel. <laughs> Don't mind the sneaking barrel that's going through your house. <laughs> I just took the entire chest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he'll never notice. No, oh, he'll never notice. <laughs> since the foundation right. of Sunday right, itself. We can go now. <laughs> what are you saying? All right. But I'm proud of my work nonetheless. Right, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to ask him about Jake's murder now. Okay. What can you tell me about Jake's murder? That's definitely why we're here. Sad story that. Though if I'm speaking plainly, the sentimental aspect of it all doesn't make much of an impression on an undertaker, especially not these days with so many laid low by the orcs and such like. I just concern myself with giving the remains a respectable exit from life. We set him to rest in the northern graveyard. Perhaps he can finally get mm. a little peace. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, about Jake's body, by the way. A sheep? That's a whole heap of nonsense. Don't bother me with such wild tales. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Oh, we're accusing him of it? Come clean. The third one isn't. Look, it's clear it's only a few steps away from solving the mystery. If you don't tell me the truth, I'll simply find it. Yeah, all these are accusing him mm. of... Well, it makes sense. He's the mortician. <laughs> um... Do you see the number next to all these like I did la on yours? One, two, and three? Oh, no, no, no. No, you don't? Oh, okay. No, not in terms of... That was weird. Chance or something. I don't know which one I have a better chance of. I don't think any of I them. Don't... No, I think they're all about two or something, so... Hmm, alright. Well, tell me the truth, and I won't bother burying you alongside it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I kind of like that one. <laughs> Come clean, and whoever's responsible for taking the body could be brought to justice. Yeah, I'll do the second one. Just in case he's innocent, then maybe hmm. he'll actually help. Oh. <sighs> Rock, paper, frickin' scissors. Paper! Let me know how that goes. Oh, I won. What's his score, though? What's his score? He's oh, okay. three and I'm one. You got a one? Oh. Rock. Oh, oh, oh actually, I won again? Oh, I'm going to have to win a lot, though, because I only get one every yeah. time. So. Yeah. Rock. Nope, he wins. <sighs> Rock again. Nope, he wins again. <laughs> <laughs> Rock again. Nope, he wins again. Stop picking rock! Paper! Yay! <laughs> he only needs one more point. Uh, he, six, he, he won. He won. Oh, oh, oh. Robert's won this Why argument. Why should I help those louts? Most of them would do anything to avoid paying a few extra gold pieces for a proper funeral. And anyway, I haven't got a thing to tell you. So Enough I hate both of us. bloody mm -hmm. business. If you're just going to bother me about finished matters, I'd consider it a favor if you'd leave me be. Hopefully, though, we'll find... If he is, you know, guilty, we'll find it in the chest or something. Did you find anything in there? Or do you still have I, it? I still have the entire chest okay. in my... Let's right, go right. outside and open it. Oh. No, I can... Well, yeah, okay. Might as well go outside, eh? Or at least downstairs. <laughs> He's downstairs. All right, and yes, I found stuff. Um, Good. Here you go. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, <laughs> awesome. 
But there's no um, actual evidence in there, unfortunately. No, but there's stuff. There's things. There's Is there stuff. a journal anywhere that we can fucking find? Like, what about in here? No. Oh, what was that? What did you get? What did you get? Oh, Robert's ledger. Fortune. Fortune. <laughs> God, that makes no sense. So no, fuck. Uh, I don't. Fortune. <laughs> okay. How fortunate that I was to come across this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Furthermore, I find it impossible that any but Mayor Cecil, Captain Oris, Evelyn, or Esmeralda would have been able to gain access to the body without my noticing. A corpse can just can't just vanish into thin air, and even if it could, it's not as though a strong wind could blow a sack of gold onto an, onto the empty slab. No, one of them must have been involved. But as long as no one goes digging up Jake's coffin, I don't see how the crime could ever be tracked back to me. Looks like the mortician is rather suspicious about Jake. What well, could Mayor Cecil, Captain Aureus, or Evelyn have to do with it? Uh, <laughs> we already knew that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, Variax. We already know what they could have done. No, but I mean, because in the um, journal it says we got four suspects. <laughs> Mayor Cecil, Captain Aureus, yeah. uh, Evelyn, or Esmeralda. Yeah, we already know all that. But this yeah. does prove that <clears throat> he didn't kill Jake. He just He just buried a sheep instead because he was embarrassed. So that the body was missing. Him. Yeah. Let's go back to him and confront him with this. So, what's the bad news? More orcs rampaging through the docks? Or have those infernal statues sent another soul flying to his death? Uh, about Jake's body, I guess. How do you... Um. Ah, the ledger, is it? Fool was I to leave it in the open. Mm. Or mm -hmm. perhaps I even looked forward to being found out. Well... As you know, I have my suspects in the matter. What would you like to know? I know it sounds strange Blind. suspecting the doctor's apprentice of something so ghoulish as this, but there's few in this city could manage to transport a corpse without raising eyebrows. It was she who delivered Jake's body from the inn to the mortuary. And there was something about her that night. Some kind of excitement. Seemed she could barely contain her thoughts. That there was something thrilling about to happen. I can't quite settle it in my mind how a young medical professional would have such a strange reaction to an occasion such as that. And this may or may not have anything to do with the whole rigmarole. But her master, Dr. Theleron, bought an old shack of mine, one overtaken by undead, for an exorbitant price considering what he was getting. I never did figure what he wanted it for, but he sure seemed eager. Hmm. And why do you suspect Mayor Cecil? Plenty of us shopkeepers entrust the mayor with the spare keys to our businesses, you know. And he's the only person in town with a second copy of the key to the mortuary. He could have used it to sidle in without a peep, if he were so inclined. Captain Aureus? Aureus himself paid me a visit the night the body was delivered. Came rapping at my door in the frosty morning before the sun had even started peeping. And told me to tell him, and only him, if I noticed anything strange or suspicious about the remains. Can't see why he'd bothered to go through all that trouble, unless he knew something the rest of us don't. And Esmeralda? I never saw a widow less distraught at the death of her husband, and I've seen hundreds pass through my parlor. It was she who rang my bell just before the body was snatched, lured me outside claiming she needed air before discussing the funeral arrangements. Some accomplice could have sneaked in and grabbed the remains while I was comforting the oh-so-overcome Esmeralda. Hmm. About a bag of gold you received for keeping quiet about Jake's body. That gold's the only good thing to come out of this blasted affair. And I certainly plan on making some use of it. Oh God, not again. Surely Bersha, whose sheep you stole, deserves this money more than anyone. Hand over the gold so I can, uh, so it can make its way to the rightful owner. Hey, I have three reason. <clears throat> I didn't. Well, know. I good. Did. Stand so a chance. It's three v three v three. Rock. Go, Lilia. <gasps> Yay! I won. I mean, I won that one. Uh, paper. Yay! I won again. Oh my god! I might actually do this. Scissors. Scissors! Scissors! Yay! 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I just have to win one more. Rock. <gasps> yes, I won. Yeah. Well, with all the troubles plaguing Sysil, I suppose us natives ought to put our finest feet forward. Here, take the gold and give it to someone who actually deserves it. Like Variax? Okay. No. <laughs> Is that a quest? I mean, that, that's not in the uh, log. No, it was just an experience because we won the argument. I thought we'd get some gold for it, though. Um, did we not? Well, maybe we did. It didn't say. Uh, oh. Uh, no, it doesn't say that we have. Hmm. Well, I'm going to identify the stuff I found. So, comfortable yeah, cloth get? boots of life, which are 15 armor rating, and they give 11 HP. Midora? If she doesn't go with something better? Uh, she has... Oh yeah, no, actually anyone. that is an upgrade for her. It's the same... No, it's more armor rating. And it's more HP. I guess that makes the most sense on her, right? Because it's yeah. HP. And then the other thing is a Terra Antique Buckler of Steel, which is a shield. It's unbreakable. It has 15 earth resist and minus four movement. She is using a two-handed or weapon right now, but we were going to get her a one-handed weapon, weren't we? At some point? Yeah, I mean, but the damage is nice, so it's, it's tricky. Isn't it? it is really nice. Well, I'll give it to her to hold on to for now, I guess. But I think she should be more of a tank because you're a damage dealer. You know, yeah. We're all damage dealers. Whereas your hand's kind of, you know, I'm a summoner archer. I your hand's a damage dealer healer. Yeah, so, so we do need a tanky tank. Yeah. All right. Well, I think, I... I think you'll do the most damage at the party. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I should not have lightning wands, though, because, I mean, it, it does synergize good with, with Jahan's, like, rain, but at the same time, it'll well, be Well, we dangerous. don't have to, if you didn't, um, if we if we sort of, like, uh, pull Mazoga back, or don't have us charging straight away. Yeah, true. You know? True. But she won't be able to even, like, walk in afterwards because the water will be all, like, electric beauty and stuff. Yeah. We'll see how it goes, anyway. Yeah. We're not in combat now, so there's no point discussing it, really. Uh, so... Uh, the sun is out. And yet, I we didn't find anything in, in Evelyn's house, did we? The bane of age. Uh, I don't remember. Years. In terms of smelly stuff. Oh, the smelly stuff was upstairs at Esmeralda's, wherever Esmeralda was, I think. Yeah, well, that's only Esmeralda's, though. I mean, they've all got a smelly thing. Oh! Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Right, that makes sense, because the dog wants to smell all of their smelly things. <laughs> yep. So, Mayor Cecil, who I believe What's going to be in... his smelly thing? <laughs> now we go to... Cause she, it, it could either be in her house or in the uh, place she worked or none of them because he, he had that sh that shack, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Well, I don't know where that is. That's not the locked house that we haven't been able to get into, is it? I don't know. We've got everything here, haven't we? We've looted the entire place. We've wrecked it. Yeah, so... So it's certainly not here. Unless it's something that's not obvious, like a pillow or something. Which doesn't really make any yeah, sense. It would, it would point it out. Yeah. Secure lockbox key right, laying right by the front door here. <laughs> Got my eyes on the prize. <laughs> Which I guess we. Well, I unlocked it. Yeah. So what's this? Do I have the key for it? Hmm. hmm, I could have a look at it. It's uh It's not it's not stealing, so you might as well. I bet stealing. you there's something underneath the rug in there. I have six lock picks. Alright, then we'll have a go up. Let's see about it. Dugongs, you nearly Break it to someone's random house. You know, I was just an innocent person. We're looking for evidence. Well we gotta put a knife. Let's move the rug. There's gonna be something under it. Oh, I was right. <laughs> you were right. Yes, Reginald's house. Well, if this isn't suspicious, juggling arrows? Juggling orange. Juggling mace? 
He, he juggles. He does juggle. Why does he keep it a secret? Original's diary. Well, may why? It's not necessarily a secret, is it? It's well, just clearly. He covers, well, he covers the trap door with a rug, but I don't think that's entirely incriminating of anything. I mean, it's a little suspicious. It's just, you know, it's what you do, I guess. Do you? Do you? Well, do it that? might be a bit more, bit more, you know, aesthetic, won't it? <laughs> sure. To, to have, you know, a rug over there rather than a, a door in the mm -hmm. floor. You know, this is journal. Do you want you you look at it? Uh, your turn to read, unless you don't want to. Sigurd's beard. What a fuck! <laughs> Who's Sigurd? No idea. <laughs> He's got a beard, though. <laughs> Apparently. Fortune Day. Trip down to the beaches of the Black Cove yielded wonderful treasure. A talking head. Katrina says it's the stuff of sauce, but how can such a silly gag be the product of dark magic? It insists his uh, his name is Nick, but I'll think I'll call him it's Stefan. Now there's a name with the flair of the showman about it. Uh, look, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't look have it. The curio knows a story or two already. And what a voice! My show will be most profitable in that in the fair. A fairly bull. I fairly bulge with joy when I think of the sad sack look on Cedric's face. Ooh, we got that, that was a lot of experience. Nick. Seems Reginald is a fraud. We don't even know who Reginald is yet. <laughs> well, now we know he's a fraud, so... <laughs> yeah, because we broke into his house before we even met him. That's how good at investigating we are. We find things out before it's even a problem. We are the best. Totally the best. Should we ask uh, this dude about the shack and see if he knows anything? Oh, good idea. Yeah, we should. Sally Roll. Well... Oh, I can't talk to him with Zoga. Uh, Any work for tree or sailors? We try that one. Sorry, but nope. uh, there isn't much work for sailors in a house of meds. Unless one of them happens to have a secret stash of healing stones. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Patience, Evelyn was saying, uh, affairs around Sysiel. Certainly, what would you like to know? No. Jake's murder. The counselor. Terrible. From I think I I've seen tell. this before. Yeah. No, be okay, we can't ask him about it. Jealousy turned violent. I'm the sure we'll find it Esmeralda at some point. Hardly a secret, you know. Okay. Who does he have any spells? To or what do I owe the repeated you pleasure? Do, yeah. Source hunter. Now he's got potions. Oh, he has oh. a resurrect scroll. Should I buy it? Yeah, I get that. Painting of a pig. Painting of a pig? We muscle you, scrolls to entussle you. Made a big change on your block with a bit of Fred's been strung up by his own. I'm going to bring us this way. All right. Your shirt is very blue, by the way. Thank you. Careful, comrades. It's like a superhero shirt. Ah, I know. <laughs> What's going on here? Talking to I bet you'd scream havoc if I were to give you a mirror. The great Sigurd and his rainbow of this. There is Sigurd. Talking said, and this I have heard from a ghost who knew Elba, who knew Elliot, who is said to have known Sigurd himself. That the king had a great thirst of color. So Sigurd is the king. Mm, that's what it'll be. That's who you're referencing with your beard comment. Across his realm. Fantastic. Today, I think a king. Okay, starting over. The great Sigurd and his rainbow of war Do you want to speak to him? Yeah, we should call him out on his fraudness. From a ghost who knew Elba, who knew Elliot. You there, take a seat. Prepare to laugh your head off, cry your eyes out, shut so. and teeter <laughs> on the edge of your seat with an original tale from Stefan, the talking severed head. Let's discuss your talking head. Oh, Why do I care what tall tales you've heard about Stefan's origins? Try to do something about it if you dare. The fair's full of legionnaires who love no better entertainment than cutting down a source hunter for stirring up trouble. Mm. Mm. Tell me about yourself. I am Reginald the Illusionist. 
purveyor of the most amazing artifact in Andervale. This fantastical talking head! Catch the act while you can. This show will only remain in Sicil as long as there are Legion soldiers to entertain. How do we, how do we, uh... We can hardly walk off you there. There's another you dude over here. We'll just have to think of something more clever Yeehaw! than daylight robbery. You see? Okay. This is all empty. Oh! Poor guy. Sicil, what you made of? Would that be sorcery too? No, of course not. That is called Medora. Oh, wow, burn! Oh, Medora, are you gonna take that? I think it needs to cast some uh, some rain on her. Oh my god! Get rid of that burn, yeah. <laughs> All right, I need to talk to this guy. Come on! Oops, I will then. Okay. Uh, tell me a bit uh, about yourself. Oh, I should have <laughs> been one of the greats, but here I. I am gathering peasants to watch peasants perform broadside pageants for peanuts. Uh, got a pretty bad case of the hiccups there. No, <laughs> really? <laughs> I <haven't> noticed. <clears throat> Not for this ridiculous condition, you'd know me as the king's favorite thespian. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, stage master, are you? Perhaps I'd like to perform a show. I don't know. <laughs> where can I? I don't want to perform. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you do. Uh, where can I find material to perform? Don't you have an impressive library here in Sicil? I'm sure that beast of a librarian could rustle something up for you. I'm not sure I'm a performer, really. Mm -hmm. Search Master, are you perhaps I'd like to perform a show? Take it up with Katarina. Uh. She's the master of this pig circus after all. Maybe it's not that guy. Maybe it's the other guy over there. Ah, it's Maybe the other it's guy over there. Katarina, the fair. You there. No. You look like an actor just waiting Talk for to this dude. Okay. Cedric. You there. Sit. Stay he is while. tan as hell. Right in front. Yes. I'll excite you. I'll delight you. I'll beguile you. I'll besmile you. <laughs> I'm Cedric the Sensational, and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm playing to an empty audience. Oh, tell me about yourself. Don't pity me. No, sir. Just a few years ago, I was the all-singing, all-dancing, all-sensational darling of the town. People came from far and wide just to witness my amazing act. When Reginald came, he brought some fantastic prop with him. Now, have you seen it? A talking head! Now, I never expected a silly gimmick like that to be my main competition. Tell me about the competition between you and Reginald. It seems even my usually choosy audience has been taken in by that hack's little gizmo. I'm a man of skill, sleight of hand, feats of wit, and pure entertainment. This curio is ruining what used to be an art. And even when there's no crowd to speak of, old Reggie still has at least one fan calling bravo and hee-haw. Sure as the sun sets, that one devotee attracts five more, and those five more all curious about the commotion. I don't know how he inspires such loyalty with less talent contained between his hat and his boots than I've in my crusty handkerchief. <coughs> Ooh. Uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> so now we can do something? Have some pity. Warming the crowd. We met Cedric, frustrated in town at the fair, told us he was desperate to attract a crowd. We can't get a quest from him, though, I guess. Like, <laughs> no, not in the general way. Oh, Let's see about this lady sat so down many. here. Okay. Yes, Katarina, yes. She's the leader of the circus or whatever. Yeah, let's talk to her about it. Okay. Interfere in everyone's stuff. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm Katarina the Fair, fairest first lady of the fair, of course. 
I do love making the acquaintance of my patrons. And who knows which of them might become one of my performers. I've an open stage in want of talent, and I've often found the best young performers among the rank and file of the audience. I don't I don't think my character would want to uh, put on a performance, but <coughs> rather than saying what he's saying here, it kind of amuses me to think that he sort of like gets embroidered in it, you know, mm -hmm. like she's sort of in, implying that he wants to, you yeah. know, right. and so he's sort of like a bit taken aback and she's just a bit forceful. Yeah. We'll go so there. I get put in that little, yeah. The theater's fever has overcome you, has it? No. <laughs> I do love a fresh green talent ready to bloom. But I support players, not writers, you see. If you want to perform here, you'll have to find tried and true material. Mm. Check the library and see if any of the classics there yeah. interest you. I'd love to see a source hunter's take on one of the old standards. I've got plenty of bugs, but I think I'll take my leave and ask uh, Katrina about it, was it? Bravo! The, uh, the half-orc woman, it's like... No, it's like... I don't remember her name. So do we have to actually join the circus to get this guy to play? I don't think so. You don't look like Mind you, this guy's called Gallagher. He's been called Citizen. Oh. Yeah. Mm. He looks suspicious. He's like, hmm. Mm. Go on, reason with him, go on. Go on. Oh, oh no, he actually he likes it. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? There's a great show going on right in front of you. And look, there mm. stands the world famous Reginald the Entertainer. Better check it out if you don't want to miss the time of your life. Uh, tell me about yourself. Oh, I'm nothing but your average man taking in the best show I've ever seen. I'm amazed and astounded that for a meager gold coin or two, I can take in this first-rate entertainment mm -hmm. all day long. The same show all day seems like a bit much. Well, I've stumbled into quite the fine gig. I just let my appreciation for Reggie's work be known, and he slips me a few gold coins in return. Mm. My I voice knew it. happens to carry pretty far. Cyseal hears me. Cyseal wants to see what the fuss is all about. And let me tell you, this amazing show just can't be beat. Okay. Ah, the plot thickens. We could talk to him again now, maybe? Give it a go, sure. Fantastic! Today, I think. My word! Back for more, I see! Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Mm. What with Stefan rattling off legendary <laughs> yarn after yarn. Ooh, we got Take more options seat. now. More options, you? yep. Okay. How about your competition, Cedric? Oh, yes, I know of that talentless fool. He was here entertaining the troops before I was brought in. I'm sure the hack simply bored his audience to tears until they cried for a replacement. Enter Reginald the Illusionist. We need our boys in red happy, relaxed, and ready to fight. Not wasting their energies cringing at a fool with a depressed rabbit in a borrowed hat. <laughs> Let's discuss okay. your crowd warmer. Are you impressed by my prowess in the arts of entertainment? Nothing attracts a crowd like a crowd. And that crowd warmer has increased my profits by 60%. Simply by showing a little honest appreciation for our show. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Honest. Let's discuss your talking head then. Why do I care what no, you've, heard that. you've heard about Stefan's origins? Oh, fine. Take my leave then. Goodbye. Today, I think. A fantastic. Can we, we like, to to... Hmm? rainbow of war machines? Can we just like take the head? <laughs> it said, oh, yeah. I have heard from a it's selectable. Elva, Save the game really quick. Not for taking, himself. but for examining. Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm trying to prepare for the next show. This. Autographs will have to wait until the end. Oh, it's actually a dialogue. I can't. I doubt I have to tell you yeah, that I'm just going to skip through it quick and see what uh, happens. A pleasure to meet you. Now, please, uh, Stefan has many fans to meet. It won't be the worst indignation I've suffered. Hey, 
stop that? Uh, okay, so I said you come in my pocket, and then he's mad that my I tried word. to take his head. I see that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that didn't work. Today, I think. Yeah, he wants us to uh, take him to his cellar to talk in privacy. Oh. That's what it says in the log. Okay. Can you can we use telekinesis to grab it from like far away? Well, it's not an object that I can grab, you know. Can you just like talk? Can you? You can't. Are you sure you can't grab it and drag it? Nope. Oh. I just start moving towards it. Well, I don't know. I can't think of anything. No, we might have to distract him somehow. Yeah. You know, stop him, stop his show, so he leaves it. Right. But we've got to go to the library anyway, because we need something smelly from Cecil. Well, alrighty then. Uh, which is yeah, there. Uh, this one. Yeah. What? Getting stuck on things. Key to Cecil's living quarters. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Cecilia and Cecil. <laughs> no, I don't know if, if the cat will... Uh... Mind me taking? Oh, of course, there's Charlene there as well. Oh, boy. Well, if you distract one of them. Which one? Well, either. I'll distract Charlene. She's moving around more. Charlene! A sauce hunter! I'm going to save it. Oh, what a sight for sauce, Icelian eyes! <laughs> got it? Ah, got it. All right. But I can't go in here if he's facing that I'll way. distract him now. Oh, what? Okay, go. Who? Oh, it's you. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm a barrel. I'm a barrel. I promise. All right. I'll just wait out here for you. Oh, oh. for God's sakes! Ah, uh, Jafar screwed everything up. Yeah, he did. Oh. I'm reloading. I'm okay. reloading. It's because I didn't. I, he followed me. You know, by yeah, default. Yeah, I know. I have to tell him to wait or whatever. Yeah, I'll just have to disconnect him from me. Yeah. But again, I wasn't. I didn't know that was. Wonder where that was going to happen. Yeah, that's stu stupid. So hey, where you going? <laughs> you leave me all alone. <laughs> all right. <Ooh>. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was what you said when you got the key. <laughs> yes, that is what I said when I got the key. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> They're both facing away. Uh, but I haven't uh, done this yet. Hang on. Put him with you. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, wait. Okay. okay. Uh, she's not quite. Go. Go. I hope you wiped those muddy boots on your way in. I wiped my okay. muddy boots. So, what have we got in here then? Yeah, let's have a little look around. Adventures uh, Felia. A key. Mm hmm. Gold for a couple of apples, I like gold cup. I'm having that. Get your knife. I'm having that. Uh, painting of a man, painting of a woman, of course. Mm -hmm. Paintings of anything. Um, so Cecilia's in there. She's dressed now. Uh, That's good. Mm. Oh, a magical ring. Ooh. Uh, but when it comes to actual stuff, oh, hang on. There's. Oh, wait. Smelly shoes. Yeah, there we, go. there we go. And some cloth and a some. So it's your bow. That's worth a bit. I'll sell that. And in the chest and in the drawers, some gold and a paper knife. Okay. All right, I gotta sneak out again now. Okay. Um, where oh, is Cecilia? Oh, the wait. If you drop the. No, 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 no. If you drop the um, oh, right, okay. thing up there, can I teleport to you using mine? Yep. Because I think I have one. Boom. Yay. 
Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> you put your book back out or something. It's like, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Heavy. Uh, oh, Jahan's, yeah. is Jahan mad that we did that? Probably. Let's, let's find out. I'm going to find mm, out. Interesting devices, these pygmies among pyramids. Oh. They may be small of stature, but their potential is gigantic. Deceivingly clever. It is a trait all demonic machinations share. Yes, demonic. <laughs> so very obvious to the trained eye. These apparatuses have been forged among the voids of the outer realms, where the light of stars does not reach. Obviously, he's not keen on them, then. Nope. You do well to treat them with the utmost care. Perhaps it would even be for the best if you sling them into the reaches of infinity that surround the shelter plane. Better safe than sorry. It is an uncommonly trite thing to say, but it applies to all things demon dreamt and devised. Uh... Not everything is a freaking demon, Jahan. I gotta say, you're looking to get positive in the mouse, Jahan. These pyramids are a wonder, and we'll use them to our advantage as much as possible. Yes. Because we just have, so it's stupid to say otherwise. Mm hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, go on. Too true. You're looking a gift horse in the mouth, eyes and ears. We should thank Zigzags for giving us these pyramids, not question their origin. How I pity you. You have a mouth, but do not taste. Eyes, but do not see. Ears, but do not hear. So let me state this clearly, Hunter, that you must always remember, always, that when demons are in play, you are the hunted, and that it takes stupendous cunning and strength to escape their snares. The very moment you are certain you have them in your grip, that is the moment their traps spring, and it is their grip that shatters your soul. Dueling with demons is like playing chess against an opponent with queens for pawns. They sit and grin while your pieces slip in the sweaty fear that drops from your beleaguered brow. Blimey. Wow, he is one paranoid dude. He is so intense, isn't he? Yep. So very intense. Well, we got smelly boots. That's one. Yay, smelly boots. Uh, so the army dude next. Did you want to talk to the librarian while we're here or no? Oh, that's true. Yeah. I want to put in a show. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You'd be good at do. it. I want to put in a show. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, maybe that's what distracts him away from the head and then... Yeah, else... would our show is better than his and then he gets all jealous. Victoria. That's who it was. Oh, yeah. And it was a real name, if you like. Yeah. Uh, may I take books from the library? Indeed you may. The wisdom I here hold is yours to peruse and even take with you. All I can ask is that you return the books you borrow so that others may enjoy them too. Thank you. All right, so, uh, well, we've kind of stolen everything already. Mm -hmm. Place this book here. Does that mean we've already sold the book that we need? Probably, we've probably sold it. Uh, but we'll, I mean, there's rat extermination. That's stealing, apparently, though. It's true. Oh, I know why. Why? It's, um... Oh, I thought it would be uh, bartering with her. It's not, though. Hmm. Yeah, everything's empty. Yeah, because yeah, we still have everything. Dang it. <coughs> um, okay, maybe we have something already. I'll take a look. I've got plenty of books. I, I was, what I was going to do was just go back there and say I can put on a show. Oh. I don't really I don't, have I don't mean. So. Don't really know what we're looking for anyway, you'll see. So. What do you think you're doing? It's probably like ah, the sorry, art of... Sorry, 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 sorry. It's probably Might like... In see-through armor, Princess Buttercup with the blushing know. bottom, Stentek. <laughs> Esmeralda does have a propensity for all things naughty, hasn't she? Esmeralda's so naughty. Well, it's probably like, you know, Source Hunter's Guide to Juggling or something. Could be. So I don't remember putting on a show last time, but I can't remember. Oh, I don't know. It was a long time ago. I don't know where I'm going. Don't know where I'm going. I don't know where you're going either. I'm just following you. 
Yeah, we're going the wrong, went the wrong way. This is down here. Oh, I tried to give Jafar back to you, but it didn't work. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've got to do that. No, you can have him. <laughs> Crumps my style. Yeah. He is a kind of a Debbie Downer in our into our group. We're all just trying to like have fun and do awesome things and he's just yeah, like demon. Like, well, must not be for demons. <laughs> Everything is evil. <laughs> yeah. That cat looked at me funny. <laughs> it's a demon cat. Right. I can totally put on a show kids. probably, but maybe Hopefully. I dunno. If not, let's just go do something else. <laughs> I'm ready. Bravo, bravo. I don't know. By the seven. Speak to Master Chaucer if you're ready for your debut. He alone can adequately prepare you for the stage. All right. I'm log updated, huh? All right, where's Master Chaucer? This is, this is part of the Hegless Nick thing. Okay. If we can find some interesting material, I'm moving benches around. All right, can I can perform, maybe. Go ahead, has she? Oh, very well then. Tell me when you're ready to begin and I'll show you to your places. And gather you whatever crowd of drunken yokels can be prevailed upon to watch you flail about on stage. All right, I'm ready. Yay. Ready for your what are we even doing? Fire, you mean? <laughs> ah. There's no more savage foe than an audience, my dear. But I'm sure you'll do just fine. May the show begin. Ooh, you two, know what? Two-man show. Yeah, if I'm going round I'm down, I'm taking you with me. All right. And I'd like to be the king of Stormfist, but oh. I haven't got the credentials, have I? Come oh. back when you oh. found some material worthy of my stage. What? Maybe okay. oh, try the one man show know. then. Yeah, I will. I gotta restart again. Katarina, tell me when you're ready to begin. Ready for you. Wouldn't we all? Nope. Ah, oh, fudge. Well, I guess we don't have a book then. You no, we could have sold it somewhere. Like just waiting for his uh. big oh, well. Or we could just get back to solving the murder. You're like said. Smelly Best things. Helps. You were the one that made me go to the library. Well, I just thought you might be interested because you wanted to put on a show so badly. <laughs> I do. It's, it's uh. my time to shine. Yep. What in the heck? Oh, those are logs. Oh, they were tweez. Tweez. They were tweez, and now they're not. It makes sense they would go down all the tweez. Yeah. Within the walls. Now I pulled her off. You know, since they can't go outside. Yep, it does. All right, Arius. What smelly things do you have? A key. Oops, I'm a detective. I love that. It's hilarious. Um. Um, maybe upstairs? It could be. Although, uh, that Aru guy's upstairs. Aru? Yeah. Yeah, this is Aru's. Yeah, this is just his place. Hmm. He's definitely not a suspect. He's staring out the window. Oh. Do you want me to distract him? Oh, there's a basement. Oh. Oh, there's a basement? Where's the basement? Oh, it's uh, right out the door. I'll, I'll distract him. Oh. What now? Oh, there is. Uh, okay. Can we get this key? Yeah, we'll probably need that. His and diary as well. Can you grab that? And that. And that. And gold cups. Yes. <laughs> that. <clears throat> uh, that'll do. <laughs> All right. Uh, but what does it, is there a chest in here or something? Probably downstairs. Because there's yeah, a right. basement. This is terrible. It's naughty. Oh, it's dang it. There's a dude naughty. down here. Ooh. Is there a chest? Uh, there's a journal in this room, in this cell. Oh, can we get in there? Can we, like, bribe this guy to go away or something? Oh, uh, there's a chest. Oh, wait. It's already open, though. 
Hmm. I don't it's two see... guys. It's a shame. I don't see a locked chest down here. Do you? No. Um. I want that journal though. What does this guy have to Quiet. say? Quiet. No talking if to If you these give me that extra telekinesis thing. Might be able to. Uh, oh, hang on! I've got this unidentified thing as well. Okay, um, I, I pass the ring on to you. I will give this one back to you. Oh, lore master! So you can just keep that one. Ah, neat. Okay. Yeah. And I'll put these on, so it gives me telekinesis four. No, it won't let me. It won't let me grab it. Oh. I think it's because it's through a door, you know, that's, that's kind yeah, of what it is. That does make sense. What if I. No, I can't distract both of these guys. I'll thank you to take a step in a. There's, I mean, there's got to be a way to obviously distract him, but I don't know. Maybe not. If I disentangle myself from. Uh, I don't know. No, I can't. No. Um, yeah. Hang on. If I make this guy point over here, like, if I... Nope. Excuse me. Okay. And then if I come back over here and distract this guy... Quiet! Can you no sneak? talking to these scoundrels. Criminals. Well, let me get rid of... Thingy dude. You can have him. I'm a rock. <laughs> I know it's locked. Well, yeah. Just give me a moment here. <laughs> oh. Nope. Too low. Oh, boy. Oh, well. I want that journal, man. What is it? Secret. It's a super secret. Well, I guess there's nothing down here we can do then. It must be upstairs. Must be somewhere, yeah. <coughs> um. Oh, hang on. There was a chest, man. Oh. Oh, so there is. Let me distract him. Again. Hey, Captain Orius, by the way. Uh, how are you doing? You lost weight? Yeah, you're looking good. It's a nice yeah. big sword you have. Curious, uh... Where did you get it? Uh, wool. Wool? Wool. That's, that's incriminating evidence. He buried the sheep in the grave. Okay, you can stop flattering him now with his big sword. Those are big muscles you have, Captain Orius. That's enough. That's fine. <laughs> Give me jealous. <laughs> okay. So, um, you got some wool and... Is it stinky? Yeah, I got some. Well, let me just. Well, it says uh, a raw bounty of fluffy, generous sheep. Not a bad haul. But <laughs> you need to combine several batches to make a useful length of yarn. So maybe it isn't. Oh. But meanwhile, I did find some stuff. Which okay. I've given to you. Oh. A scythe and a helmet. Whoa, a scythe? No way. Whoa, that is a lot of damage. Holy it's level thing. I bet we can't, can't use it. Uh, it requires strength eight. How much does Medora have? She has strength eight, but plus four due to level difference. Wait. Oh, plus four attack cost. Oh, so uh, it'll cost her a lot of action points to uh, use it. Yeah. Oh my god, it's uh -huh. so much damage. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. Put it on her. Ooh. That looks deadly. Have, have her equip it. Press tab. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. How much? Wait, how much AP does she actually have? Where do I see that? You can't until we're in combat. Oh, unless... No, I, uh, I think it's in her... Maybe not. Action points, there it is. Middle uh, tab. Okay, she's uh, got six. Middle. So she can't attack with it. So we'll have to wait. Without doing anything else. <laughs> she... Yeah, she won't even have enough. Unless she saves her turn or something. But that's not worth it. And what else was there? A hat? Indestructible aged leather cap of protection. Perception in 19 armor. 
that's for you, right? Or do you oh, need, sure. do you need it? Well, yeah, that's always good. I'm wearing a um, yeah perception. That's good. Sweet. But nothing stinky. Not in that chest, no. Though we did miss because we missed that chest, you know. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh! I bet it's in his drawers, right here, next to the bed. Did you look in there? Mm. No, I did not see them. I must admit, right? Okay, I gotta get, 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 get oh, you now? there, here, over there. Um. <clears throat> you'll need to. Uh, oh wait, there it is. Release ox. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Got it. All right. Let's leave. Yeah, before she could do any real. All right. Death. So now what do we so need? Esmeralda and then Cecil? Or no, we got Cecil. Who else? Uh, Evelyn. Evelyn. Well, I th I think her smelly thing will be out of town. I think it'll be in one of the uh, things. Look on the bright side. In our hometown. No, the ruined things outside the city, because it's over and with undead. Okay. Yeah. That's what that's what they said, isn't it? It's over and with undead, but they yes. sorted to buy it or something. So. Um. So yeah, it says. Is it Esmeralda? Yeah, yeah. That's where we need to go. That hat looks super epic. You look even more super powery now, or superhero. I know. I got like the gold wing thing going on. <laughs> I know. I am a superhero. That is true. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, dude. Except I can't fly. Ah, oh, well, maybe you know when you're level ten, you'll get that. Yeah, be able to fly. <laughs> Great. Yeah. <laughs> and you won't even need the pyramids. You can just fly everywhere. Yeah. Should be in the game. Should be. It is Esmeralda, isn't it? Do we need? Uh, yeah, we did. she has yeah. pants. She's the one with the panties, I think. Right. So we can get three of them. Right. To the dog. He's going to say, neither of these are the one. And then we'll know it's Evelyn. Yeah, but we'll still have to prove it, I reckon. Yeah. Would you not take them? Is it in here? Oh, yeah. Plus one charisma as well. Yeah. Not bad. Strange, but there we go. <laughs> right, to the dog. 